G'day folks. Well, I was uh, over at a friend's place having a bit of a land party last night. Uh, you'd know my friend as uh, Julian, aka JG Certified. The guy who gave me the rack and the Dell servers and went shooting a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, you'll see more and more from him and I. And uh, we sort of traded equipment. I lent him the flight data recorder for an equipment autopsy, like an electronic side of it. He's going to work out all the uh, workings of that thing. And I just thought I'd grab one of these Silkworm 200E fibre uh, network routers. Just because, well, neither of us have any use for them, but it would make good rack filler. And it would certainly make a good video when I take the top off this thing. Because I've always wondered what's inside. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's a fibre network switch. I don't have the NICs to go with it, but I do have the main box. Uh, it does power up and work, but I've got nothing to really test it with. Yeah, everything's lit up and ready. Tons of airflow. <laughs> I think it's got four little server fans in the back of it. So, let's uh, take it apart. I'll post a link to Julian's channel in the description. He's getting right into the YouTube video making thing, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, if you like computer stuff, I strongly recommend that you uh, subscribe. Because you'll definitely be seeing more from him and I. We'll share equipment and that sort of thing. He knows more about electronics and things than I do, like on a chip level and a software level. Uh, he's a software writer slash engineer, so you um, can expect more on the flight data recorder from him as far as the electronics go than what I could do. So yeah, he's borrowing that for the time being and uh, we'll do a bit of a examination and a detailed walkthrough of what all the chips and the processor and everything do. We had a bit of a look at it last night, it's quite fascinating. But anyway, let's open this up and have a look. I won't be as, uh, well, educated in the chip side of this thing as he would be, but who knows. I might even, uh, well, he's, he's got one as well, so I'd recommend that he takes it apart and gives a detailed exam on it as well. Not everyone gets to look inside a 16 port fibre switch. Interesting thing is, all the optical to sign um, electronic signal conversions done with these little modules. They plug into the front panel here. Yeah, I think they go that way. Yeah, they plug in like so. It's uh, made by Finis, uh, Sunnyvale, California, made in Malaysia. Um, FTLF 8524P2BNV. That's the part number on that. There's a whole bunch of them. So that converts the optical signal to uh, digital electronic by the looks of it. The rest of this is going to be a very fast switch, a gigabit switch. Yeah, a few screws to take out. Should be able to pop the lid off. Yeah, that's what's inside one of the little modules. I'll have to pop that under the scope. But, yeah. Basically a little uh, converter module. You can see a pair of opto-couplers on the front. One's obviously transmit, the other's receive. And there's two ICs on there which do the bulk of the processing, everything else. Uh, there's a third one on the underside. Little one. Yeah, interesting stuff. I'll have to get that under the scope and have a closer look at it. Alright, well unfortunately there isn't a lot to see inside of it because it's pretty much one main chip, looks like a interface and that's about it. It does seem to have a uh, memory card in there that must contain the... oh there's bootloader so this will actually run an operating system of some description We've got three Infineon, uh, so 256 meg RAM chips there. So it's running 712 meg of RAM. Uh, Delta PSU, 
supplying the 12 volt 6 amps so it's just a single voltage switch mode power supply a decent quality delta one what's inside that flash card a CF card I don't know if I... I should have a flash reader somewhere. I don't think there's an eject on it. I'm going to have to pull that out manually. Either way, it'd be interesting, interesting to see what's on that CF card. How do I get you off? It's specially mounted, but I don't really want to provoke it too much because it looks like it's got brass push pins going into brass sockets. And if I pull it out the wrong way, it'll destroy it. Little backup battery, tiny little one. Yeah, there is surprisingly little on here. Obviously, there's expansion for another another power supply by the looks of it. Looking at the size, of the shape of that so that opening in the chassis and the mounting standoffs, it looks like you can mount a second power supply there. But we've also got mounting points for more uh, headers. Probably, yeah. SFP2A, 3B, 3A, 3C, 3D. So it looks like this board can be used in a num number of different uh, units. And all that's well and truly shielded. All made by Foxconn. Yeah, there isn't as much in here as I thought there would be. Got three Delta fan, DC 12 volt fans. Is it 0.24 amps each? Don't know what's under there. Again, I don't really want to go ripping heat sinks off, especially because they they fit. They feel like no, oh no, they do move. That one doesn't want to move. That one does. I'm just hesitant to try and apply any excess force to that because it's obviously attached to a, B, a BGA chip package and bad things can happen when you force heat sinks on BGA chip packages <laughs> really bad things so I'll pop this uh, card out and see if I can read it on my uh, PC reader now it's active but it's telling me I have an invalid format he wants to format it before I can even access it Oh well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Pesky little thing. Okay, for the last trick up my sleeve, this is the optical to, I guess you'd say optical to digital converter module, or one of them. What is that one there? It's a VM546. No, yeah. Hang on. VM54ES That's what that second chip says you got transmit and receive uh, diodes I guess what would they be classed as? I'm guessing diodes since it's optical LEDs but you've also got a receive component like a uh, optocoupler it's quite fascinating stuff Another small IC under there. I'm not going to take the board out. Looks like it's attached to the front of the housing. Yeah, interesting never seen this kind of kit before a shame I couldn't really I did try again to try and shift the heatsink on the main processor chip but it is stuck very well so I'm not going to push it it's a pretty expensive bit of kit so I'm not going to risk wrecking it but this little gizmo yeah, interesting stuff optical uh, 1 gigabit ethernet 
anyway, I uh, hope you learned something from it. I sort of did. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ah, there we go. I just sort of look up the actual part, and it is a op fiber optic transceiver. You can buy them on DigiKey for 58 dollars 59 each, or if you buy 5,000 of them, they'll go as low as $38 each. But your bill's going to be $190,000. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, transceivers. And there are data sheets, alldatasheet.com has it. Again, uh, 4.25 gig per second bi directional, hot pluggable, uh, all metal enclosure, single 3.3 volt power supply. Yeah, pretty good stuff. It's got the pinouts on it as well. Yeah, it's all there. So I'll copy the link to this PDF and put it in the description. Thanks for watching.